Relaxation practice with understanding. Keeping your intellect and the mind and the body aware. First is eyes are closed and you are comfortable. What it means by being comfortable? Use your intellect. The moment I say your mind is looking at the neck joint. Then the mind feels the sensation. Then the mind converts into an intellect and it says, yes, I feel the sensation. Ask the same mind, am I comfortable? That sensation gives you a feeling of comfortable. And then we say, yes, I'm comfortable. How simple it is. So now your mind may not be grasping and there... I will come in and customize, move the mind and the shoulder joints. <clears throat> shoulder joints, the mind feels the sensation. We are going through a simple one practice today. So, feeling the sensation. As normally the mind feels the sensation. Who judges? So you explore your intellect. I'm customizing the practice based on your intellect, your thought and mental pattern. So let the intellect say, yes, I feel the sensation, it is, it is comfortable. If it is not, you can adjust and align. Hip joint, feel the sensation, being comfortable. Now see that the mind casually goes to the hip joint. The moment your mind says, I'm comfortable, it is not the mind, it is the intellect. But there are two ways of using the intellect. Through your awareness, the intellect says, you are in my home office. So simple. We need not to think. The same way here it applies. That's where the Eastern cycle is so deep. But it's e very easy. Move the mind on the knee joints. The mind is looking at the knee joint. At the same time, the mind goes back and it starts thinking. Let it think. I'm giving a different scenario. And then the intellect comes back. The moment I say check, does the mind say it is comfortable? You feel the sensation of being comfortable. Ankle joints feel the sensation being comfortable. The entire body is comfortable. Objective. Who sees objective? The intellect. The objective is taking the mind inside, moving the mind inside. But how we do it in the first two steps, and that do without doing anything in the beginning. If the mind interferes all the time during the practice, we will see by doing the practice at least a couple of times. So we will see that how this mind can stop interfering during the practice. So don't lose hope, my friend. That is the way. Look at the head and the neck. Now see how the mind works. Let the intellect know it. Mind, when I say head and the neck, what is that? Name. With the name comes the shape. And that is how mind feels the shape of the head and the neck. Then, you feel the sensation. Up to that level it is okay. At the same time the thoughts are coming, let it come. Don't start thinking about, oh, thoughts are coming, what should I do? Nothing to be done. 
and you become aware. That very awareness of the head and the neck is important. And if we repeat the practice, we increase our resource. It doesn't work. Active practice will block the mind from thinking. Move the mind on the right arm. Right arm, shape, name, feeling the sensation. That is all. Left arm, feel, thoughts are coming. Let it come. Don't complain. But we are introducing something more. With all those thoughts, the sensation in the left arm is also there. And the journey begins. The mind on the rib cage. Sensation, awareness, thoughts. Let it be there. Belly. The mind goes to the belly. You feel the sensation. Being... Awareness and still the I'm just as if I'm giving you the practice based on your mind. Move the mind on the right leg sensation, awareness, thoughts are there, okay. Let it be there. What difference it makes when we two are present here. At the same time, we are also aware of the room, the chair, the bed, me and you and the light, so many things. What matters is awareness, sensation in the left leg and becoming aware. Not the presence of a lot of thoughts in your head. Let it be there. The entire body feeling the sensation and... Becoming aware. Look at the head and the neck. We discover. And in that every discovery, the intellect, the mind turns into an intellect. We feel it is comfortable. Sensation is also there and stillness. We are experiencing what is already there. So when we are experiencing and discovering what is already there, let millions of thought interfere with your mind. It will still continue to exist. How simple it is. I'm applying a very simple principle from the Eastern wisdom that I'll explain you later. Right arm, experience, comfortable, sensation, and the stillness. Left arm, comfortable sensation and the stillness rib cage comfortable sensation and the stillness so i'm not i'm not asking you to be aware of the thoughts that are moving because you normally become aware that is that is the problem we get obsessed with it and there we are working but if you, even if you are aware of those thoughts, it's okay. The rib case, being comfortable, sensation, stillness. At the same time, you know, belly, being comfortable, sensation in the stillness. At the same time, the pressure of the mind is there, if I use the word. We have to increase the resources that is already there within us. The mind is on the right leg, being comfortable, sensation, awareness. That is our resource that is already present. At present, what it takes to be in the state of being comfortable being, having a sensation in the right leg and experiencing the stillness at the same time, 
the mind increases the pressure. No, I have a lot of thought. Let it be. Left leg sensation. Being comfortable sensation in the stillness, the entire body. The mind with its pressure even turns these resources, I would say colors these resources to or to its disadvantage. It complains and blames, reacts, hesitates. What should I do? Do nothing with that mind in that state of passivity. Look inside the head and the neck. And the moment you become aware of the space inside, Declare I am in peace. Do nothing. Look inside the heart. The moment you become aware of the space or a darkness or emptiness, declare, say to yourself, I am in peace. But the mind increases. Sometimes it increases its pressure and at other times this mind gets defeated and for a moment it experiences the change. That is why I ask you to repeat, repeat. I'll give you a small practices. And the last is the breath awareness. Where is that breath awareness? In the state of being comfortable being carefree and sensation in the stillness, you're looking at the breath and count the breath. The breath goes in, in one, out one. What it takes, even if you forget the counting, but what it takes, even the mind increases the pressure and makes you forget the counting, let it happen. But as long as you are aware, you are counting the breath, you forget it and you return again, it is done. And I'm here with you. I'm reminding you. That is the key. So we are increasing those resources without fighting with the mind. Remember. If you fight with the mind, you cannot win. You are simply counting the breath. And just stop the counting of the breath. Do nothing. When you do nothing, it is your conscious experience here and now. First experience, you are comfortable. Second experience, the sensation in the body. Third experience, the stillness in the body. Fourth experience is an awareness inside the head in the rib cage. That's enough. I'm not coloring your mind, but when the mind lives in these experiences in that state, the outcome is relaxation and calm. Doing that thing. Remain in that state. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Bring your awareness on the right hand, your awareness on the left hand. Lift your both the palms, place it on your eyes, open the eyes inside. Know your experiences, bring the hands down, 